Here in San Diego, police are seeing a huge spike in gun related crimes, including confiscating those so called ghost guns we were just talking about. News 8 Shannon Handy spoke exclusively with San Diego Police Chief David Nislight today. She has more on the alarming numbers and what the department is doing about it. Steve, Chief Nislight was very transparent about this issue, saying the gun problem in San Diego is the worst he's seen since starting here more than 30 years ago. You know, I've been doing this since 1988. I cannot recall a time where our officers are encountering more firearms in public than ever before. These are just some of the firearms San Diego police officers have confiscated since the start of this year. They range from handguns to shotguns and assault rifles. San Diego Police Chief David Nislai says nearly one in four are ghost guns, meaning they have no serial number, making them untraceable. That means anybody who's prohibited because of their mental illness or because of prior felony convictions can still purchase a firearm, have it FedExed overnight, and have a gun in their hands the following day. In 2020, the department saw a 169% increase in ghost guns compared to 2019. 2021 is looking to surpass that. These statistics further show the increase. In 2019, ghost guns made up 4% of all guns confiscated by SDPD. That number jumped to 12% in 2020, and it's now at 22%. And that's just part of the problem. In 2020, we saw a 75% increase in those being arrested that were convicted felons with a firearm. Gunshot calls have also gone up, so have shootings. January and February saw a 50% increase compared to 2020. Chief Nislight says there are several contributing factors, the pandemic being the most obvious one. People are out of school, people are out of work, so there's a lot of anxiety and angst about everything. Not only that, but with court services reduced or closed, he says criminals feel invincible. People feel emboldened right now to commit crime and do not believe they're going to be held accountable. Chief Nislight maintains he's working to combat these alarming trends. Last month, alongside the mayor and other community leaders, he unveiled a new program called No Shots Fired, which works directly with gang members in hopes of getting them out of that lifestyle. He's also putting more officers and investigators on the streets and planning a gun buyback event in early June. No questions asked. You drop off a handgun, a shotgun, a rifle, and you'll get a gift card anywhere between $100 and $200. For him, it's not just about curbing crime, but making the community feel safe. Not only are you trying to drive down the crime, but the fear of crime. Details regarding that gun buyback event are still being worked on. As for more officers on the streets, right now the department is 108 officers short. They are actively recruiting for more.